I don't okay, encourage so it. I, got, like, this I'm of close to forbidding it. Yeah, we got to hurt take, yourself. Like, like big you know, little uh, shots of Tabasco sauce on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, hey, get your cup in there. Get your cup in there. He, he put a bunch of shots of Tabasco uh, sauce in there. Uh -huh. And now, hold, let me drain some of this Tabasco sauce. Yeah. That's oh. Cool. oh, grab them. Grab them. Grab them. Ah, man. You ready? You ready? Right. It's on three. Right. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> I'm not real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not real. <laughs> Has it been a month already? Oh, my Lanta. Well, with that being said, I don't want to hold you guys up or keep you away from seeing what's been going on. So let's get into it. Actually, I you know, I did a whole full lap right with you and still managed to All laugh. right. Uh, phony phony okay. Okay. Wait, it still managed Although February is deemed the shortest month of the year, it definitely was filled with a lot of laughter, joy, growth. And meeting new people and i'm always excited about that i love that idea of waking up and going to the same places um, on a reoccurring basis and still meeting new people um, getting to learn more and, and seeing new personalities and i'm just blown away by that and i just love it where do i even begin um oh perfect i know I want to give a huge shout out to the Older Dice Boys and Girls Basketball Team for being 2018-2019 Basketball City Champions. Um, that was just a big year. It's been great going to the games and seeing them and actually starting to know some of the students that are actually on the basketball team. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to them. Keep doing your thing. All right, back to it. Uh, Older Dice has been going so well. We, we are getting ready to start the official first day of practice or track practice on March 1st and we are already just excited about that you know I got we have three coaches and um, just been able to grow with the teachers there uh, the principal and actually the students that's just been great so in the, the videos in the past you've seen me running with some of the guys and some of them are from cross country some I just met and now we're getting ready to kind of enter or welcome out a wave of 40 plus students onto the track team and I'm mean, just really revved up to see what that's going to yield. Um, in other news, I was asked to substitute teach. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right, I said it, substitute teach. I cannot believe this. Uh, when it was requested or asked of me, I was blown away. And so one of the teachers that is the assistant track coach for the girls, is also a teacher there. She's been teaching for about eight years. Shout goes out to Miss Sarah, she's awesome. And yeah, <clears throat> started helping out with winter conditioning and you know, just got to know her a little bit more. And, and from that point of knowing her, and I would say two weeks after, I guess she really started to see me um, just, just, just being consistent and showing up. And to a point where she felt comfortable, she would start going upstairs and doing extra work, helping out at other clubs and just allowing me to kind of run practice. And I remember this was about mid-February. She came to me and after practice and just told me, like, Sly, I just want to let you know that, you know, the kids really love you. Um, you know, teachers are, are talking about you. And I just want to let you know that. And I'm, I'm like, just blown away. I'm like, this is just great. This is great news. This is awesome to, to hear that, you know, that tone is kind of set already. And after that, she asked me, like, did you ever think about substitute teaching? And I'm jaw almost dropped. Uh, I'm like, no, I never thought about that. And yeah, so the, that ass was kind of thrown out there. I, I thought about it a, a few days later. Uh, uh, the social worker of Older Dice came to me and asked me the same question. And three days later, I got a, a link in the in an email I'm requesting orientation. And so I went, and now I am deemed a substitute teacher. And I just think that's going to be uh, just another step of, uh, of allowing me to do contact work and get to know students that I might miss during early dismissal. Uh, I might not see a track practice. I might miss even at lunch. You know, it's just another way for me to just be a light, to be an example, to just be there and be to continue to show up. So super excited about that. Once again, just blown away. I don't know what it's going to yield. I mean, I hope to maybe do it four times a month, if, if not less. Um, just a, just one way to be there, but I don't want that to be my all. It's just another way to really know more students. 
in the beginning of the video, you might have noticed a dude trying to eat peppers with Tabasco sauce. His name is Josh. He's a cool guy. Uh, and the other dudes in the video as well, they're really cool, Frazier and Antonio. But needless to say, met those guys at Campaigner Weekend. And Campaigner Weekend is really just an opportunity. It's very similar to what we, you know, Young Life, we deem it like Bible study. It's just a way to open the word up and to look at it and see like what stands out and how we can apply it to our lives. That's basically what Campaigners is. And for Campaigner Weekend, it's an opportunity to bring students up and to welcome them in for those who are, might already be attending a campaigner or not, to really cast vision and say like, hey, you are equipped, you can, be, you're, you're able to go into your school and to cast vision and to love on other students as well and to invite them into campaigners and just to, into community. And so it's a great weekend. And I know I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm telling you all this, but it's probably better to just show you the, the energy that comes from campaign weekend. So check this out. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, let's go. to have fun with so much momentum going on at older dice i cannot contain it all all to myself you know i can't do this all by myself and i need a team and you know with all this momentum that was building up i'm i'm, I'm looking left i'm looking right and i just don't know where to turn i don't know i'm i'm, I'm looking for leaders and I'm, I'm thinking like who could help me with this who could and i, I kind of felt like this i have to go all alone well, that's all just sit in the boat all alone, talk to myself, all alone. But oh, but oh, how, how God really gives ear to our words. And, and through Young Life College and the opportunity to be a part of the First Year Fellowship team and going on Tuesdays to First Year Fellowship and doing small group on Wednesdays and going to leadership, being able to actually learn more about the students and see their personalities I was blessed with three awesome leaders. Check this out. The pick is in. Oh, the slide doesn't need anyone. Taylor ordered I select Spencer Miller! Can you believe it? Yes, yes, they are here, and I am so super excited for Becca, for Sarah, and for Spence. I mean, I love those guys so much. Um, we've been able to break bread together. We've been able to pray together, um, and get to get to opportunity to start learning about them. And I hope that you know, years from now, we really consider each other uh, family. Amy's been awesome for the girls, and, and it's been great getting to know Spence even more. As you can see, Spence is my dancing guy. That's my guy. He can dance. He dances a lot better than myself. Um, actually, check this out really quick. This is it, guys. <laughs> and back to it. So now it's not just me, and I was... My big prayer mind is that it wouldn't always be on me. And so I'm excited to now share these responsibilities, the privilege I get to walk into older dice and be a part of those students' lives. I now have a team of four people, actually five, because Amy, she's great, and she's more of the behind the scenes, host you, uh, cook you food, pray for you, and just make sure that you are supported. And so now I have this awesome team that I get to walk into older dice with and walk around the school and pray for these students and just be there, be a light for those students. And so I'm, 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 I'm overawed at what God continues to do. And so I'm just so thankful and I just wanna let them know if they see this video, if they don't, either way, I just wanna let them know and you guys know too that I have such a, a strong love for them and I'm excited to see what God's gonna do in their lives. And as I get to know them more and learn more about them, uh, I'm, I'm getting, I'm already understanding more and more of how they could be used at Older Dice and it's really off of the talents and the skills that they already are equipped with. And so is that, whether that's coaching or, or helping out with dancing, I'm, I'm getting them ready. I wanna, I'm trying to set them up where they can walk into that. So I have some things set up already, 
but I'm gonna wait to give you that in the March update. So you have to wait, you have to come back and actually check this out. Um, as for you know me personally, I'm in a good place in life. Uh, you know, with Amy, we're, we're doing well. She's still smoking hot. She actually hates when I say that, but she is, and she's, she's so smart, and she's kind, and she's supportive in many ways. Um, a, a running joke right now is that they paid for me to come here, but they got Amy for free, and they couldn't actually afford her. And so I'm excited that she gets we get to do life together in this capacity. Um, I'm bringing a great community at our church. Shout goes out to Renaissance, Pastor Rob, Pastor Jesse, Pastor Kyle, you guys are amazing. We uh, just love how you guys lead and love the, the congregation. So great community outside of Young Life and just building up great community uh, with others and you know going out a ton. I need to actually lose a couple pounds. I got an ultra marathon coming up in April. So you know hitting the, hitting the ground hard, you know running a lot, cycling a lot, but I, I need to cut back on a couple of those meetings and maybe make them coffee meetings. But I'm in a great place uh, in ways that you can be praying for me. Uh, once again, just you know, keeping God first in everything that we do, allowing Him to be uh, the one that's laying the first brick, you know, making the first step in everything we do. Um, just staying in great community with the church, also great community with the leaders, like being so much more than them just being leaders at, for young, young Life or Teller Order Dice, but them really feeling welcomed and loved by Amy and I. Um, be praying for Amy and I is also, you know, I know I am a kidult and I, I do some dumb things. And so I definitely need wisdom and discernment in that every single day to be a better husband, um, a better son of God, a better uh, father. Um, just, I just need it. I need it every single day. I need to absorb wisdom and, and take it in. Um, so yeah, you can be praying for those things. I love you guys so much. If you didn't hear it from me or you haven't heard it from other people, hear it from me. Hear it from me. You are loved. You have purpose. You have value. You have meaning. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, my information is below. My cell phone number, email address. If you have any questions, feel free to call me up. There's so much more I want to talk to you about, but I really want to keep this video semi-short. I feel like the last one was like 15 minutes. But come back for March. It's going to be exciting. We got a lot, um, a lot revved up we got a lot that's going on and I, I just want to say thank you so much again i'm out of here i got things to do you probably got things to do i'm out peace